Welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be spectating random solos. We've already won our gulag, so first part's done. And then we're pretty much gonna slide into the ground. Whole point of this series is kind of just spectate, get feedback live in the moment. Obviously we're not all knowing or anything like that, but I think there are a lot of things you can learn from watching how people play. Sometimes they do some really clutch things and other times they make some huge mistakes and you never really know what you're gonna get. This guy looks pretty serious with a little whip in there. If you do enjoy the video, learn something new, please do me a favor, hit the like button. Goal in today's video is 8,000 likes. If you're brand new and wanna find your way back for more Call of Duty content, just double check, make sure you are subscribed with notifications on. I'm also gonna try and add a little bit more features to these videos so they have a little bit more value in terms of stats. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the comments section so I can try to incorporate those um, as I want to try and make these videos as helpful and informative as possible. If you think I missed something along the way because sometimes maybe I'm focused on one thing or another, you guys, way more eyeballs. Feel free to leave a comment saying, hey, maybe the guy should have done this or something like that. And then people watching it can go back to that individual timestamp. So he's looting here. Farah XM4 are great floor weapons. Okay, they're just kind of moving around. They already got a satchel, they got 4K. Pretty solid, all they need to do is uh, find a, uh, a, ooh, damn, running around in the wall. All they need is a self-revive now, and they'll be pretty good to go. Obviously, as I'm watching this live, I don't know what this person's stats are. I will have those below the screen uh, where I'm at right now, but below my webcam. And then I'm also going to try and add it when they try and finish a player off or they get a kill here. They, uh, I'll try to incorporate those as well since we can kind of see if the, the better players are always winning these gunfights type of thing. So I got a little bit of slide cancel in there. They did some good looting. They do have the right weapons. Um... Not sure exactly what they're looking to get out of here. Maybe there's like one chest that does like their favorite spot or something. They just wanted to wrap over here, get a chest. Got some good money in there. Is he going to actually climb this? Damn, I would often not climb this. Unless maybe there's like guaranteed gold chest I don't know about. Uh, this is not necessarily something I would be doing. Luckily, he's well within the zone. Um, so they got a lot of time to slow loot. Obviously, people, if they want to land here, then they're going to slowly creep in. So we might be here for a little bit looting for a bit, but that is very typical um, if this is where they start off. Okay, he's going to go ahead and rotate over here. It's going to end up making a lot of noise if somebody is in the area, if they're camping it. It is looking unlooted right here. I do hear some gunfire or explosion over at uh, Boneyard across the street. Could pick up that all right there in case you're going to use a vehicle. Decided to go with the stun. All right. Still looking for two grand here to at least get this load out. We'll still be a little bit broke after that, but that's kind of the norm, right? You, you got to be able to get the self revive, even though it doesn't help you um, as often as you would like. I mean, it really comes down to play style. If you often take stuff at range, you're more likely to get pulled off a of self revive. The only way you typically survive in a point blank scenario, if somebody else gets third party, then essentially you're able to get that self revive off, break the line of sight, get plated, reset the gunfight, and then get back into it. Let's see what this guy does here. Ah, oh, this is a hard gun to use. I don't like it. The M82, even after the buff or modification that they did for it, I I'm not a huge fan. Okay, he's getting beamed now. Bullet velocity is just terrible. I don't know if it's just the build or I, I don't actually like the weapon. Like I said, he literally couldn't hit anything. That even though that one looked like actually a good a good hit there, he could finish plating up. So it ended up being two people. We had the vehicle. Then obviously the, somebody's doing recon strat on the train because um, now it respawned. Uh, once you grab it, do a recon. It takes 45 seconds to respawn again. So that kind of can give you some timing there. But like I was saying, G Fuel code is discounted until Monday the seventh. 30% off, so if you're looking to restock or try something new, um, replace your coffee in the morning or something like that, um, you can definitely check out the site link near the top of the description. Just use code JGOT at checkout. So right here, let's see what loadout they go with. It's gonna be on the right-hand side. Okay, he's taking his time, car's rolling up. Okay, FFAR, car 98, or no, no, brand new um, Swiss, I think it is. Overkill, obviously. 
Okay, and just throw the stuns. Noise. There's a guy mantling. He might be mantling up and trying to do a hop up through the window. That's why the car's right position. Because I think from that spot, you can actually hop up and then you can mantle into one of the windows and you can actually attack from the top. Yep, you can hear the footsteps on the roof. Making a lot of noise. This is a, a good a corner as any. Obviously, he's playing a little bit more passive, which is perfectly fine. The guy's on the floor now. He's coming in through the bottom. He's out by the car again. It's like a cat and mouse. Oh, he got beams. The guy jumped through using the car. GG's. We got a TTP guy. Wonder if this guy's gonna be a sweat. We don't know what they have, but I'm guessing they have the loadout. They have a car. They're probably just gonna come up on um, a trophy system if they didn't already have one. Oh no, he did not. He had floor loot. Amazing. He just, uh, it was competitive. So he decided to call his own loadout now. That works. This dude's cracked. He already has seven kills. Wow. We might've found a winner with this Farah Amax build. I'm driving. Noise. No, is that, is that far? No, no, AK. So he's running meta guns. AK 45 round mag. I don't know why I thought it was Farah. I think cause the, the gun looks ugly. And I know the Farah has a, a, a graphical bug. So he's going to jump out on this dude. Nice seat swap. This dude could be the one. We don't often get the most sweaty player in the lobby, but this guy is uh, getting pretty close. He has stopping power. Or I mean, not stopping power, dead silence, which is perfect to make a play here. The mobility is on point. I don't know what this blueprint is. Maybe he's a content creator. He's making content. Like that, that's the only reason. Oh, this is so, wow. Oh, this is not good now. Throw a nade. Guys, in that corner, you should have a good peek here. Low health, free aim it. Easy little kill here. Nice. So it's not often that, like I said, we get the sweatiest player in the lobby. Obviously with these, you have a portion, even if the lobby's diamond or bronze usually you have a percentage that is sweaty we would call it sweaty and then we have above average players and then we have average players and then we have a lot of below average players right because the vast majority of the game i think uh most people have the below, below a 1.1 if you had a 1.1 you probably are in the bottom 60 percent so 40 percent you're in the top 40 percent if you're above that so there are a lot of lower average players in the game and that's perfectly fine but when you queue up for a lobby just depending on those proportions is going to determine how sweaty it is um, but it all comes down to odds he could run into the lowest kd players in this lobby back to back to back to back to back and we wouldn't know we would think oh man this lobby's easy but then if he runs into a sweat we'll know so he's got the amax typical amax build that pretty much everyone's running he popped dead silence again He's going to make a play for this. Luckily, the guy, uh, ooh, that's going to slow him down a little bit. The guy should not be able to hear him. There's not really a way to get up here, I don't believe, properly. Oh, uh, is he? Oh, damn. I did not know about that spot. I didn't even see the guy. Maybe maybe this guy's not. I uh, mean, he looks legit so far. I just didn't see the guy. Maybe because the, the window, it looks different on their screen compared to spectating. That was a little nuts. That dude is uh, the one here. Yeah, he looks like almost any streamer, sweat streamer that I've watched before right now, so far. See how he takes his gunfight. We need a little bit more. They just be cracked out. He looks cracked out. Level 310. Everything's kind of adding up here. Yep, that looks normal. That looks very normal. That's where the bullet velocity kind of gets you on the AMAX. Those shots are a little bit harder uh, unless somebody's out in the open. That's why a lot of times you'll see that used when people are kind of running out in the open. It's super easy to hit those shots. But if somebody's like kind of on the head glitch, it's a little bit of, it gets a little bit hard. So now he's looking like he, he, he's going over here. He might try to get this guy on foot and then rotate back over here. Oh no, 
I would take care of this guy while you have that. And then you'll go ahead and go for the bounty afterwards. That guy might go take off in the vehicle, though. Looks like this guy's going for the buy. This guy might just sit here for a bit. So it'll be easy for you to get this guy. He might be right on the buy. Good ADSing. Easy shots. Played it perfectly. That's kind of what you want to do. He was ADS walking, so you couldn't hear the footsteps. Sadly, this guy didn't have a ton of money. But he has a UAV to push that bounty. That guy does not have ghosts because we saw him on the map. So this is like perfect. This is like the sweat play, man. Perfect. UAV, bounty, cash. UAV, bounty, cash. He just keeps cycling through. So let's see if he's going to be allowed. Get the vehicle. Push it. Hopefully the guy doesn't have C4. So we'll see how soon he gets off and if it's behind cover. Because he wants to play this, he's going to pop the UAV. Maybe he'll do a seat swap to pop the UAV. Or when he gets out, he'll just pop it. I need recon on my position. There it is. So now he knows exactly where it is. He has double nade. The guy's in the upstairs. You can see the little up arrow on there. Throw a double nade. You can see the guy's in the right corner here. Broke armor. No. Easy enough. Kill. That was perfectly lined up. Super easy. So there's still 29 players left in the lobby. Uh, I think we got the guy. This is the guy right now. Hopefully you don't get run over like that last time we thought it was the guy. This guy's probably coming back from Gulag. And he's trying to land to loot up. He already had his loadout most likely. And then now his loadout's not there. And he can't land where it was. So I'm just trying to tell a narrative of what's going on here. Oh, watch out for the car. Oh. I'm driving. I was like nervous for him there for a second. So, he has about a minute before the zone starts closing, and then he can gatekeep this dude. He's probably going to go push for a UAV. And then just come back for that guy, right? Going to go get a bounty. Hopefully it pulls towards him. Down low, he's got to go through there. It did not pull to that guy, but he has enough for a UAV. And then uh, by this time, he can go push the other guy. This just looks like a sweat, dude. He's probably live streaming right now, I would imagine. Somebody left something on the position. bike? What's behind you? Was that a, I think it was a Teddy? I don't know what that was. I didn't see it that quick. Okay, so he's going to push this guy. This guy's still out here on the orange marker. There's a guy in storage. Who's he going to push towards? Wow. I would push towards this guy. You know this guy doesn't have a loadout. He doesn't have a buy, and he's playing really campy. Unless you think you're going to kill this guy, then head back with your two minutes, right, to get that guy off the bounty. Jump out the vehicle. Watch out. You don't want to get C4. The guy's running towards the buy. He should be straight in front of you. Maybe he went to the left. UAV ran out. He's going to pop it. The enemy already knows that he's close. He's going to get high ground. Nice. I would still pop my UAV so I know where this guy is. I need recon on my position. He, oh, he's on the level. You got to race here. You're going to have high ground. You're going to be able to beam this dude pretty easily. Nice. Oh, he missed one bullet because of that railing. He doesn't have any more nades. He's going to push this pretty aggressively. The guy took off in the vehicle. Unfortunate. Beam him. That's a hard shot. He lost sight of the car. Did you see that? He was still aiming low. He got sniped from the right. Unfortunate. He's going to make it out of this, though, unless the guy has precision. I don't hear any precision. Obviously, as a spectator, we don't see everything on the screen. It doesn't always pop up. So, yeah, me personally, like I said, I would have taken care of this guy and this guy. Those ones seem like probably the easier kills because when you catch people in rotation, the problem is... They're kind of behind a rock in a hard place. Probably going to buy a self-revive or a UAV. Let's see how aggressive they are. UAV. Um, you kind of get them between a rock and a hard place because with the gas at their back, they have to run forward towards you. And then literally if you're shooting at them, they don't get a chance to plate. They don't have cover. They have to move. Um, so now the, there's two people over here on this side. The guy he was shooting at looks like they are moving on their way up. There's like a rappel over here. And then this other one is up top as well that sniped him. So it looks like they might be getting into it. This is a little bit dangerous, risky play, but he's got to make the aggressive play. He's going to be up top. 
and then he's gonna push this. Unfortunately, the UAV is gonna run out um, already, so he's not gonna know exactly where they're at. Um, he didn't really mark it, but they were kind of on this side of the map, and it said they were above him, so they were likely still at the edge over there. And if he peeks the right angle, he could probably get it down, maybe hear some gunfire, get a third party in the mix, uh, a few different things here. So he's just trying to assess it. He's already got 12 kills. He could be getting close to 20. I, I don't know if he'll necessarily make it there because the amount of things that need to go right. Um, oh, a little bit of lagging here. We got packet loss. All of a sudden, packet loss, unfortunately. I thought I heard footsteps. Oh, we're getting packet loss hard. There it goes. It's gone. He's working his way over there. He's got a long way to go. I don't know if he thinks the guy is still there or not. The other guy's in a Bertha. Oh, that's sniping at him. This is so risky. He's trying to close that distance. Playing the 50-50 game. Just closing that distance. To where he knows he's going to be comfortable beaming these shots. This guy is peaking pretty good though. So he switched to the other gun. Fully automatic. Oh, we're getting so much packet loss. 30 to 40%. Oh, this is not good. We're not getting live action of what's going on. Oh, you got sniped. You tried. Valiant after Captain Quorn. That dude seemed like a sweat. Um, definitely probably cracked out. Unfortunately, he got hit with the snipe. There it is. Five kills. Got his uh, Car 98 and Amax with a Ranger Grip. Um, which helps with visual recoil. Looks good. It makes it a little bit easier to shoot, but it is a little bit slow. Um, and that's why a little bit of an odd choice. You don't have much for your within 20 meters because the VLK kind of zooms in a bit. Um, you play a little bit risky that way. Dude has 11,000. Has a precision. So I'm surprised he didn't use the precision earlier uh, when he downed the other guy. So packet loss must be on my end, I guess, now. But yeah, when he downed the guy... I'm surprised he didn't use the precision in that moment. He's just standing out in the open. Looking at his watch. I don't know if he's just trying to flex because he got four spectators. Damn, I was really pulling for that guy. I thought he, he was the one. He was going to have it. Packet loss is destroying the game. I know the servers have been messed up ever since the they took the, the Nakatomi Tower out. Oh, variable zoom. So variable zoom on the car definitely does have a glint because we saw the glint the whole way through. So it definitely does have a glint. I know some people were messaging me, nah, nah variable doesn't have glint anymore. We, we saw it clear as day there. This guy was hard scoping forever, looking like he was just trying to hit that shot. This seems like a good player, but not an aggro player, if that makes sense, because they're not always the same thing. This guy probably playing for placement or something. I don't know. It's kind of hard. We haven't seen a bunch of the movement. Did that guy have a cluster? Yeah, it looked like he pulled out the cluster. That's good for mobility. He's got to end up rotating. I would try to get to this fork and just hold the fork. Because if you haven't done recons, you don't know what's going to happen. So he's actually in a pretty weak spot here. He has about 50 seconds to figure out what he wants to do. Um, there's a couple different routes. He goes back up top, challenges this with all kinds of confidence. Maybe use the precision. Oh, he's dead. Um, so you either go that route, which is the less likely route. Or you jump down and then you work your way and then work your way up the stairs off of the uh, the fork and then you turn the tables and try and hold this guy. Odds are there's still probably somebody there, so you're not in the greatest spot. Wow, we got another guy with 10 plus kills. What's going on here? Got in the LC10 loadout. Another higher level too. This is a must be a little bit of a sweatier lobby in general. He popped Daddy. Did he did he know somebody's here or what? Why are you playing like that? That is such a weird way to play. Dude was ADSing through the wall. If somebody's right there, we know something's funky with this dude. Ah, no, he potatoed his shots. He got killed by this guy unexpectedly. If he had walls, he would have known that the guy was there. But that was really weird. He popped the daddy. 
and then ADS the wall and then kind of like we did one of these, but there was nobody there. Um, interesting. This guy has. That was his third kill. Another higher level player. He's trying to figure out what's going on here. Okay, he has a cluster and a precision. He's in a great spot. Um, I don't know. He's just going to get rid of it. Okay. You already got a gas mask. Oh, the game lagged out. Oh, damn. The packet loss is crazy. 95%. Yeah, the servers are chalked right now. I thought it'd be lagged out there. Yeah, like I said, the servers have been really bad today. Okay, so there's one guy going to come out here. You might be able to catch him on rotation. If he doesn't know you're there, there he is. Rose skin, isn't he? I thought that was a rose skin. You could hear him and see him. They have ghost. You got to be careful. They can come up the rappel. There's a guy down low right there on your right. Oh, third party. And this guy has a riot shield. So um, you got to be very careful. You need your stuns if you could get stuns. Because heartbeat's not going to help you with that. And your C4 definitely will not help you. They do have a gas mask so they can go up the left side of this fork. Uh, which is where I would try to position. Damn, this uh, packet loss is going to spike up to 95% again. Wow. There it is, 94%. We're literally losing half the game. But this is likely what this person's going through, too. So it's all right. He made it across. He didn't take any ticks on the gas mask. We still know somebody is further around. They might have tried to do a gas play, come up that rappel, thinking that maybe they can make it. So he's just got to watch, make sure no one's creeping up behind him. Um, and then his back is pretty covered here. Nobody comes out that right door. That's where I would be watching next, the right door on this side. Okay, nobody's underneath. You checked your area. Check the left corner real quick. Okay, he didn't check it, but he, uh, you know, it's been a quick check. And then now he has the top side. Now it's going to be, depending on the zone shift, how he has to play this. Oh, he's so in the zone. Literally, there's two routes to this. You try to kill everyone. Um, he does have a self-revive. Um, or what you do is just become a ghost, become invisible, and then try to third party when there's only two other players left. And they're fighting. You know where they're at. You come over. And then you try and get involved that way. This guy's a MAC-10 um, and the uh, sniper. So let's see what they end up doing. So we had huge pack loss again. Right when the game is on the line. Oh my god. The pack loss is insane. That's the game right now though. Damn. It was so smooth at the beginning. What happened? So now... I don't see anyone. I don't hear anyone. We know somebody's going to come from the left. Oh, the guy is right at the edge. They're crawling. What a shot. Could barely see that guy. He's selfing. Got to hit a moving target, bro. He's... Is that guy survives? That'll be hilarious. There it is. Quick, easy kill. All right, so now you know there's two below you. Lay prone or something. Just wait for the last kill. If you're looking for a win, just wait to third party this. The zone's so small, you're going to hear, oh, he has to rotate hard. Hmm. He just precisioned himself. What a rookie move. There's a guy across. That's not the gun for this. Oh, you got gas mask animation. Poor buddy. Damn. Nobody fought. That's rough. I really thought they would have fought. Either way, he, he ended up having the wrong gun for that situation. That's why sniper support, they're literally right next to each other, I think. So this guy has the far out. Oh, the guy doesn't have ghost. This guy is probably going to win. He knows where the guy's at, and the guy has to rotate towards him. Just play your life right here. Wait for the guy to move. There he is. That's the riot shielder. You have the double nades, though. He's going to Cali stick you. And you're going to be stunned again. Oh, he missed. Good stuff. Yeah, this is screwy. The riot shielder might win this. Damn, that's annoying. The guy has restock, so you have to push the close. Because if you don't, 
Ah, oh, damn. There's nothing you can do in that situation. You didn't have the stuns. That guy left the match. That's why it disconnected like that. Um, if you don't have the stuns for the fight, um, you have to push him. But you had no way to counter it. Just one of those uh, cancerous Call of Duty playstyles that they put in the game. It is what it is. That guy had a lot of fun there in the end. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video, learned something new. If you did, please do me a favor, hit the like button if you're brand new and want to find your way back. Double check, make sure you subscribe with notifications on. Appreciate all support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.